But then it draws near. What to do? Here I go. Okay, we've secured the area. Let's free those people ASAP. We, we've been rescued? I'm sorry, but who are you all? Don't worry, you're safe now. Here, this way, quickly. Sure, but my back's so shot, I can't stand. <laughs> Lady Yuki? Explain later. You need to escape first. Hmm, since they call her Lady Yuki, that must mean. Wait, are you married? Of course, a catch like her is married. Are you saying you didn't know that already? I was in a formal relationship with Yoshiki. So, yes, I am technically his wife. His wife? For real? So, you're like a princess here? Be more accurate to say she's the general's consort. Huh. I did notice an elegance and adherence to manners, but I never would have expected this. Well, I did marry Yoshiki. After witnessing his wicked doings, I couldn't bear it any longer. So I took the people he'd imprisoned and fled the castle. <sighs> but this never affected him. As you saw already, he subjects more victims to his tyranny every day. I get it now. Explains why you've been hiding those townspeople from him at your place. Oh, if you're Yoshiki's wife, then does that mean... Oh. Can we discuss the finer details later? We really ought to keep moving. Our main problem is the escape route. We have to do something about the cameras. Don't you worry yourselves about that now. Our job here was to supply power to the surveillance system. Uh... Which means what, exactly? It means the cameras went down when the power supply did, too. With the cameras off, everyone in the castle should be in a panic. Let's take advantage and escape! I'll see to it that these people escape safely. You all hurry on ahead! Thank you. Please. Put a stop to Yoshiki's reign of terror. Yeah. We'll beat Yoshiki down and overthrow his ass. You'll see. I don't know the rest of you, but thank you so much. We'll all be counting on you. I'll fill them in on the Phantom Thieves before you get back. With that said, goodbye for now. Please be careful. We will. You do the same. All right. Yoshiki's up a ways ahead. Let's go get him. The cameras are down, and there's barely any security. Let's hope it stays that way until we reach Yoshiki. Still, what a bombshell that Yuki-san was married to Yoshiki, right? Um, about that, doesn't that mean Yuki-san is... Yes. As I'm sure you've all gathered, I am fairly certain she's my mother.
guess you were just being considerate for my sake then. Sorry, I'm still trying to come to terms with you. That being said, uh, I suppose she's more like an illusion of my mother that my mind created. I don't remember what my mother looked like. I don't know if that's her actual personality either. An illusion, huh? So, a vestige of your mother still lingers in a fragment of your memory? I'm not sure it's that poetic, especially considering that I don't know what my real mother thought of me. What do you mean? It's possible my mother may have resented me. Really? As I've said before, I was raised under the strict discipline of my father. My mother was in and out of the hospital due to her illness. But when I did get to see her, it filled me with joy like nothing else. Gradually, her illness grew worse. Watching her grow weaker by the day was a terrible shock. And my father became even stricter. That's too cruel. It was around that time in my childhood when I hatched a plan. I would sneak my mother out of her hospital room and take her to the amusement park. She had always wanted to go outside with me, so I worked up the courage to carry out my plan. That was the first time I ever rebelled against my father. You finally rebelled. That must have made her happy, right? By the time we reached the park, my mother was beaming. It was just a small place on the roof of a department store. Though our trip was brief, I was grateful I had worked up the courage to take her after seeing how happy she looked. But on her way home, she suddenly collapsed. I'm not sure what happened after that. A lot of adults came. I only remember crying. passed away. I see. But, but that wasn't your fault! At least, not directly! That's what the doctors said. My father still blamed me for it. He said my mother died because I selfishly disobeyed him. And she would always resent me for it. Even from beyond the grave. He placed his own guilt on you. No one will ever know why your mother's time came then. Yes, but despite knowing that, I'm still afraid. I dread my worst fears being confirmed when I ask Yugi. No, when I ask my mother for the truth. Though I'm ready to fight my father, I would have my mother as a separate matter. For some reason, I can't stop this wishful thinking that she'll be kind to me. All right, I've digressed a little. For now, let's just press on, do what needs to be done. Yoshiki should be just past here. Is everyone ready? Mm. 